What's going on, guys? HockeyCon here. Welcome back. Uh, bright and early, 6.12 in the a.m. And I want to—I just want to do a quick vid, and I want to discuss two stories that broke in news yesterday. Both of them bo absolutely boggle my mind. The first story was uh, CampusReform.org paid a visit to Harvard University, and um, they interviewed some Harvard students and posed the following question to them. They said, who is the bigger threat to world, world stability, America or ISIS? And resoundingly, these fucking kids answered, America is the bigger threat to world, world security and world stability. And their argument was, well, there are policies um, created, helped to create ISIS and, and America's colonialism, imperialism. It just, you know, it's absolutely mind-boggling to me that these kids, smart kids, these kids, these are the, the kids at our, our best universities, would answer resoundingly that America is a bigger threat to world security when you have a gigantic terrorist army out there that is bent on world domination by any means. They've slaughtered tens of thousands of people, destabilized an entire region, put out videos every other day of them beheading somebody. I mean, my God, America's not perfect, but you you are a special kind of fucking dick face if you honestly believe that we're a bigger threat to world security than fucking ISIS. I mean, oh my God. It just goes to show you once again the liberal mindset that absolutely rules at, at, at American universities, especially our, our elite universities. And, and it's, it's shocking and it's sad to think that these fucking retards that answered this question that ISIS is a greater threat to the world than America, or that America is a greater threat to the world than ISIS, um, they're, they're going to be our leaders down the road. These are going to be our, 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 our fucking politicians, our captains of industry, and they're brainwashed fucking buffoons who are scared to answer the question the right way. I'm not going to sit here and tell you America's perfect. Fucking far from it. But I'll tell you this, we're a hell of a lot better than ISIS. And if you're too stupid to fucking see that, you have absolutely no... And it's, it's not they're too stupid to see it. They don't have the courage to answer that question right. They don't have the courage to say, well, obviously, America's fucked up too and some of our policies are stupid, which they are. But, but to suggest that, that we're, we're a bigger threat to the world than ISIS is, is, is shockingly... Um, Close-minded, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And those kids that answer that, um, I, I would love, fucking love to see them get their heads sawed off by ISIS because you're a bunch of fucking morons. You're pieces of shit. You're fucking low lowlifes. Um, moving along to my next target, the uh, you know one of the worst human beings in the world, Jesse Jackson Jr., the Reverend, the the the, the piece of shit, fucking race baiting dick face. Not a lot to say about this guy other than um, the family of the guy, the Liberian guy, the guy who fucking. Um, purposely lied about having Ebola and put an entire nation at risk who fucking died yesterday because of Ebola. Um, his family wanted Jesse Jackson to come down to Dallas now, because the guy, um, the family said the doctors weren't giving him enough information and apparently they were concerned that racism was, was, was uh, involved or something like that. This piece of fucking shit who put an entire country at risk, who put school children at risk when he was around him knowing he had Ebola and died yesterday and was receiving free medical care because he didn't have the means to pay for it. I'll tell you who's paying for it. I'm fucking paying for it. You know how much I pay a month through my job for my medical care? $700. But this pile of shit and his immigrant fucking family are fucking complaining because they, 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 they weren't getting enough information from the doctors when the guy's racking up about 20 grand or more a day in fucking medical care. The motherfucker that came here with Ebola knowingly Unfucking believable And then Jesse Jackson down there. Oh, well, you know, we know there's disparities. But Jesse Jackson, you are... I fucking truly hope you get Ebola and you die of it. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking devil scumbag motherfucker. You make me fucking sick. Hey, how's your son in federal prison doing, Jesse Jackson? You piece of shit. Taking after his dad. Fucking scumbag. Go fuck yourself, Jesse Jackson. I Two things I hope happen to you. One, you fucking get Ebola. Or two, you get your head sawed up by ISIS. You cocksucker. I'm out. Peace.